Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Taurus for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus. So I'm definitely seeing some emerald green for you. That is um, our birthstone in Western astrology. I am a Taurus sun, um, but in Eastern, I'm an Aries sun. It's weird. And I do find myself oscillating back and forth between the two. But let's see. Let's see what we got for you, Taurus. All right. One more shuffle. go. 
<laughs> okay, Taurus. Overall energy here. We've got okay. We've got the ten of wands now. It is not. This isn't something that's so surprising. Okay, Taurus, Taurans, we tend to be able to really carry a heavy load. Um, whether you want to be carrying that load or not, uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. But that really doesn't scare me too much when it comes to Taurans. Okay, we've got the Fool. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, and we've also got the Nine of Pentacles. So I really feel like with the rest of these cards here, you're about to release do a lot of release, Taurus. Um, there are a lot of burdens that you're just going to be letting go of. Um, I feel like you're embark you're working on embarking on a new journey. You may be wanting to become single. You may be single right now, um, and you are releasing, you could be going through a purge, to be honest. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, I'm getting an energy of, you're, you just, you're looking to release a lot of things in order to start a new cycle, in, in order to really manifest the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you, you're at the Nine of Pentacles state, and you may have been at the Nine of, Pen Nine of Pentacles state for quite some time. Single, independent, um, ready to go, really working on yourself, working on your, your finances, your material, um, your material surroundings, that kind of thing. Um, but you're ready to start something new. I really feel like you're ready to release a lot of burdens from the past to take a leap of faith and really get to that 10 of pentacles state. Okay. That could be family. That could be career. That could be home, something, whatever. However you see it, whatever represents the Ten of Pentacles for you, that's what you're willing to do. That's what you're wanting to do. I'm also getting an energy of you're, you're carrying the burdens of doing whatever it is you need to do in order to get to the Ten of Pentacles. I really feel an energy of really being willing to carry the weight um, to support a family, even. But for the most part, for the most part, now keep in mind this is a general reading, okay? But for the most part, um, I really I really feel like you're releasing a bunch of burdens that are keeping you from really upgrading, moving to the next step from the nine to the ten, okay? All right. For the first half of your month, surrounding energies, you have the Empress. So here you are, Taurus. Could also be an Aries. Um but there's a lot of abundance, a lot of fertile ground, a lot of the, the, the environment is very fertile for you right now. You could be working on getting pregnant. The Empress is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there could be a lot of options around you. Um, you could be in a process or in a phase of deciding which is best for you. What seeds do you really want to plant right now? What is it that you want to manifest? Um, and especially in the areas of releasing any sort of burdens that you've been carrying, um, this is what am I releasing in order to plant some new seeds in order to reach the Ten of Pentacles that I desire so much? Yes, says the Taurus. Or this could be someone that you're connecting with, Taurus. Again, like I said in the past, these are general readings. The energies can be interchangeable, so just take it as it resonates, okay? Uh, second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month. The lovers could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, the love, what I'm getting here is this is all in service of, like, I really feel like you're in the process of preparing your space, preparing yourself, preparing your home for some sort of soulmate, divine partnership, even. The lovers is coupled with. <laughs> The chariot. Uh, this could be a cancer. Um, there could be someone coming in towards you that is very, that is like really ready and raring to go. Or you could be moving towards someone. But also, this is an energy, again, this is an energy I'm feeling of preparing the space, of moving towards some sort of soulmate relationship, divine partnership, something like that. Okay. The challenge for the first half of the month. <laughs> the four of wands, uh, union, marriage, commitment, stability. Okay. Um, home again, this is an energy of preparing for the home, preparing the home for something. Okay. The four of wands is coupled with 
the moon. Okay, so um, not really knowing where things stand right now. You could be connecting with someone and you're in the very beginning stages of this. So you're kind of worried about the, the foundation. You don't really know what the foundation is, what is really even needed for this foundation to really set in. Um, there could be illusions around a home situation right now. This could be part of the reason why you're, you know, working on, you've got all these, ba these, these burdens, or you're even working on releasing these burdens in order to move forward on a new direction and a new path. Okay. But also the other thing that I'm getting here is the four of wands as the challenge with the moon is, um, is building a new foundation is not necessarily seeing everything so clearly right now, okay? So that's kind of a challenge. Um, especially for a Taurus, we, if we can't really see what's going on, we don't really like it. <laughs> we tend to get discouraged pretty easily, yeah? The four, I'm sorry, the uh, potential outcome for the first half of the month, the Eight of Swords, okay? So this is that energy that I was getting, I was picking up on, uh, um, not really seeing things clearly, uh, not knowing which way to go, not really knowing how things are developing on the surface, um, feeling trapped also. The Eight of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. All right. So the Four of Pentacles is very much a Taurus energy, uh, holding on to something, staying strong, staying firm. Um, the Four of Wands is, I'm sorry, the Four of Pentacles is also another energy of stability and foundation, like the Four of Wands is. And there could be an energy of feeling trapped in some sort of situation. Um, I also feel an energy of feeling like you're bound, like you can't really move too much, like you can't move as much as you might want to. Um... But the, the potential outcome here, what I'm getting is just feeling like you're trapped in some sort of situation that you can't necessarily get out of. But that's an illusion, okay? It's an illusion. The potential outcome, I'm sorry, the, not the potential outcome. For the second half of your month, the first set of surrounding energies you have, the page of swords, someone is watching you is what I just heard. Or you could be watching someone else. But this also could be an energy, this is an energy of wanting to communicate, needing to communicate, um, uh, just talking to someone in a new way. Um, also learning about a situation in order to move forward. You've got the, okay, the page of swords is with the knight of cups. So someone is either watching you or you're watching someone else to figure out the best way to move forward and make some sort of offer towards them. Or vice versa, someone could be watching you trying to figure out the best time to come forward and extend some sort of offer or invitation, okay? The second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month is the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, someone coming forward and telling the truth about something, someone uh, uh, having an epiphany, an aha moment, okay? The Ace of Swords, I really feel like this is just a declaration of truth. This is a, uh, some sort of communication, okay? The Ace of Swords is coupled with, ah, but it's got the Two of Swords here, okay? So... Uh, I feel like someone might be having trouble being honest about something. Someone doesn't want to necessarily see the truth of a situation. Somebody wants, someone may come forward and speak some sort of truth and the reaction to it is like, uh, I don't know. I don't know which way to go. Stalemate. Okay. It could also, however, now, however, there could be an energy of someone was in some sort of stalemate energy, but then a truth came forward that helped them break out of that. That's entirely possible. All right. The challenge for the second half of the month, mm, the five of cups. Okay. Five of cups is coupled with the two of cups. Very interesting. The challenge here. Very, very interesting because this this same combination, the Five of Cups and the Two of Cups came out for Aries. Not in the same position, but it still came out. So did the Two of Swords, the Empress, the Chariot. <laughs> maybe, maybe watch the, uh, the um, Aries video 
if you have Aries in your chart somehow, um, if you're connecting with an Aries. The challenge is releasing some sort of Three of Cups energy and turning around and seeing the Two of Cups behind you. This could be you, Taurus, or this could be the person that you're connecting with. Getting someone to see that there is a new start here, especially with the Fool. There's a new opportunity that's literally right behind you. You just have to dry your eyes and turn around and look at it and kind of see it for what it truly is. Okay, and this is definitely what this Ace of Swords situation could be. There could be some sort of realization, some sort of aha moment in the sense that, you know, there's some a new direction that you might want to move in, but there's still apprehension about it. Someone is still kind of like up in their head like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. For whatever reason. But you got to come out of that stalemate energy, okay? You have a connection here. There's the lovers and you've got the two of cups. So there's a there's a deep soulmate connection. Someone wants to offer something with the page with the Knight of Wands. I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups. So But then here we have the challenge at the beginning of the month is with the Four of Wands and the Moon, it's like, well, where do we stand? What is this? Can we move forward? Uh, is there enough of a of a foundation here for something to happen? I'm hearing there definitely is. You just have to go with the flow. The potential outcome for the second half of the month, Taurus, we have the Three of Cups. Very, very interesting because this also came out for Aries and it came out in this position here. Three of Cups is coupled with the Knight of Wands. Okay, I'm getting here that there is some sort of, there's a potential celebration here, okay? There could be a hookup, a one-night stand. You could meet someone in some sort of social setting that, you know, creates a very passionate new beginning, but also understand that with the Knight of Wands, this could be a pretty wishy-washy energy. He could be, he or she could be here one second and gone the next, okay? So just be careful of that. But this is something that I'm, I'm hearing, this is a potential mate, Okay, so there, and there's a celebration here at play. Um, there's a celebration about it. You know, it's a happy union. The Three of Cups is also a union card for many people. I'm just getting an energy of a happy union. That's very passionate and fiery. Um, and it could be a situation where there are, there are like a ton of fireworks in the very beginning and then they start to fizzle out. But, you know, that's really with anything, to be honest. That's potential with anything. All righty. Let's get into your Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns for the month of October. All right. Oracle Guidance for Taurus for the month of October. What you got, Unicorns? Okay, here we go. Here we go. First card is healer. You have pro, you have uh, put powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. You could be a healer. You could be connecting with a healer. Okay, but ultimately somebody's got some healing abilities here. Okay, uh, intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Go with the flow. Go with what your heart is guiding you towards, okay? Use your intuition to the utmost of its ability. And finally, you have adventure. Dare to do things differently. Manifest your travel dreams. Move to a new location. And this absolutely could be very much connected to the Ten of Wands energy that is being released here, okay? Embark on a new adventure. And honestly, if your intuition is guiding you towards something, someone new, go for it. If it's in alignment with you, if it's in alignment with your heart, why not do it? All right, Taurus, there it is. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope this resonated for you. 
and much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of November. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.